So hi folks, welcome to another edition of Jason Mariner. It's only a game. I'm with the legend that is Jason Mariner. There he is in Thailand having a tough time. Life is tough for you over there, Jason. Struggling on, Liam. Struggling on. Yeah. Have, have you walked around today? Have you have you sort of, you know, done anything? It, it, actually, do you want to know the truth? I've had a bit of the old twist and shout. I've got okay. to take some more tablets. I've, I've got a bit of gout, and I? Really? So uh, I've been, I've been, yeah, but, yeah. Yeah, I'm 55, Liam. You know, these things do happen, mate. You know what I mean? <laughs> so tell me, right? what, what happens with gout? I've never had it. So what, what, what happens? It, you can't f***ing move, I tell you. It's unbelievable pain. It's the crystals trying to get out. But it's normally, it can be in any part of your joints. Right. right. I only got it a few years ago, and now, I've, now, I've, now I now get it quite a bit. But it's... It, I, so it's in, the, in your big toe. Yeah. It's just... And it's... And it's and then it goes all round your foot and you can't and it's the crystals trying to get out. But the reason it's in your big toe is because it's the last place in your body it's trying to get out of. Really? Um but I've got, I've got some tablets and they yeah, I have to take you have to take six and it's it. But the thing is I had it the other day and then it hasn't gone properly and now it's all bruised the inside of me thing. Oh bruising comes out and everything. It's mental. It's <laughs> horrible pain, mate. It's horrible. <laughs> it's painful. Painful. Well, when I just said it was horrible pain, the clue was there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing the plot, folks. That's what's happening to me, mate. You can't, you can't even put a bed sheet on your, on your, really? on your thing. You're lucky I'm doing this. Yes, you know, I just had a feeling, you know, when we were doing the other part on your channel that you weren't quite right. Are you so you, you're not that? It's hurting you at the moment. Yeah, what, what are you going to be? What are you going to be, my doctor? Now, can we just get on with it? Like thing, please. <laughs> I got just, the twist and shout, and that's it. I didn't realize. So, folks, if you've watched the other part on, on you know, the first part of this today, you, Jason has done that for you, and he's been in extreme pain. So that is how much he cares about. Liam, we don't want no sympathy, mate. We don't want. We just. I have took some tablets to Peter all day, and they're starting up. They're all right. They get they're kicking through, but it's the bruising that will come through the thing. Yeah. Men men are about them all in, in the morning but we'll see how we we'll see how me we we'll see how me old probably buy bows are you know what i mean yeah so you've you've been quite heroic today so i think that's uh he's come on there uh, not really not really liam i've managed to walk over to that uh sun lounger speak with the lads and walk back and ponce about a bit <laughs> jump in a swimming pool no i haven't been that heroic <laughs> but could you <laughs> run away from a load of coppers if they were chasing you. you it wouldn't happen would it probably not mate probably not i don't think you've ever you don't do, you ask people that's had gout mate trust me you're right okay so we could have a, a newspaper headline with the star or something you know saying gout ends jason mariner's hooligan career maybe something like that right okay right here we go pat tate turner my pals Carl Bailey and Callum Earl remember doing, you know, they did you, Jason, and a few other Chelsea plums round the rhubarb and custard when they came to Norwich in the 90s. Proper naughty, they ran from the hit squad. You ran, you ran, apparently. What do you want me to say to that? <laughs> <laughs> rhubarb and custard, Norwich, fucking, I don't know. <laughs> Do you I remember think... even ever going to Norwich? Did you ever go to Norwich? Liam, Liam. Of course I've been to Norwich. Right. I mean, what a ridiculous question. I've been around the ground. There ain't many grounds I've been. But, but there ain't no Reuben, Reuben and Custard, is there? <laughs> and it never happened. I mean, but I think you already know that before you read it out, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... So, uh, yes, Andrew Hodge, uh, he asked about Hickey, which we've talked about on the other channel. Yeah. He is getting better. So for people who maybe haven't watched uh, over the other ones, so Hickey's is improving, yeah? Yeah, yeah, very much so. Yeah, yeah, turn the corner, yeah. Fantastic. Um, now, <laughs> uh, Chiang Mai 99 um, don't think you're allowed to work in Thailand unless you've got the correct visas. Is that right, Jason? 100% correct. Right. Have exactly. you got and let me tell difficult? you. Let me tell you that. Sorry, is it difficult to get the visas and stuff? Uh, there's money involved, anything can happen here with a few quid, you know what I mean? But right, yeah, I haven't got one and I don't want one. No, so, so you can't actually work in the shop, can you? Oh, I don't work in the shop, I don't work in the shop. Me, me, trade goes there, and I've got an, 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 a and a just float in between, and, and I've got staff, I've got a bird there. 
it's the whole point of me having a shop. If I've got a bar, I've got to be there. Yes. I don't want to, I don't want to be there. Oh, no, I, couldn't, no. I couldn't do this. Be there. So, Davey, Edie says, Liam, get yourself over to see Jason for a nice break, sort of a working holiday. Uh, Jason's a top lad. He'll get you sorted with a nice gaff somewhere, apparently. That's... One? One? Yeah, I don't think I'm, I don't think no. I'm allowed. I think, it, and there, there are reasons for that. I think you've got to have uh, various injections and things and... All no, you haven't. No, you haven't. Are they, they, no, they, your, they injection, your injection is Yvette. That's your injection. <laughs> have they lifted no. all the restrictions? Can you can you go over there? Yeah, with... yeah, you don't need anything. Don't need anything. Oh, really? Oh, so I could possibly go. Oh, fantastic. All right. Um, yeah. Now, Bruce Duffett said, um, Liam and Jason, you're getting better every week. Um, but he's worried that you're getting a bit larger. Are you getting, are you putting on weight, Jason? Me? Yeah. Possibly, I don't know. I mean, funny you should mention that, right? Because I just see a thing of Carlton Leach on the thing earlier, and people are slaughtering him because he's lost weight. You just can't win. No. You can't, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's, you got, know, he's oh, got thin, isn't he, Carlton? Doesn't he look ill? Doesn't he look old? Doesn't he do this? do that? And I can leave the man alone, will you? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's, well, he, yeah, well, he wasn't well, was he? Carlton wasn't well for a while. No. He? I know, but people don't need to know that. Like, I know that. Yeah. Right? And you know that. Yeah. But, but what I'm saying is people are so judgmental. So yeah. what? I might be like Bill Werbenick. So Carl might have lost eight stone, you know what I mean? But fucking thing, yeah, I might be getting beat. I don't know my clothes are still fitting me at the moment. But, you know, you know, I am what I am. I'm afraid and I won't be doing no decathlons. Right. you know what I mean? And, you know, I, I still do a bit of training. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Edwise and art -wise. Yeah, I, I, I think you look, look the same and you, you're looking well. That's the main thing. Apart no, from I'll probably, know. in fairness, I know he do not mean anything. Like, in fairness, yeah, I, I might have done, but I'll, listen, my weight always fluctuates, mate. Always. I can't, but look, I, I have a life, mate, and that's what it is. And so I'll carry on. But I do, obviously, I do train, you know, do, do my bits and pieces. Not yeah. at the moment when we get out. Absolutely. He goes on to say, Tony was a good lad. I presume he means Tony Cavelli. Uh, uh, that day in, in Brighton yeah. with Crawley. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anything you want to tell us? No, not really. What do you want? <laughs> and he goes on to say, Bruce Duffer is a regular contributor to this channel, so we appreciate it. He says, being a Chelsea fan, if I, if, it, if I was not Chelsea, I would support the other smaller team in Fulham. You see, some people, you know, they have sympathy for other teams, Jason. You know, they, they like to, you know. The reason I don't, I'm just sorry, the reason I, my thing there, the reason I didn't, I, Brighton Crawley, I wasn't physically there, so I don't talk about it. It's like writing a book. If you're not there, you can't talk about it, as far as I'm concerned. Do you know what I mean? Yes, You yes. know, you've got ear saying this, that, and the other. But, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't physically there. Um, okay. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was um, all good. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got Henry Smith. Um, he, he loves uh, watching the football in the 80s. Um, he used to queue up on the North Bank at Arsenal with my mate. Uh, miss oh. it so much. Um, he, he thinks the football is. Uh, he, he thinks the football was shit compared to now, partly because of the pitches. So I don't think the um, the football then was as good as now. What, what do you think? Well, it's, it's a totally different era, isn't it? It's a totally. We've been through this. You've got to be an athlete now, be a footballer, and this and But I, I preferred the eighties. I preferred the. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The whole thing, the the buzz, the vibe, the grounds, the the the, the, the terraces. In fashion, the music, the you know, the football kits, they're not prancing about, they're not rolling about, they're not, you know what I mean? And the no VA, VAR, the no, you know, I could go on wherever. For, 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 yeah, but then I've again, got... I was having this the other day about the 80s. Mm -hmm. I think the 80s was, was the best time of both. It was that. We didn't have this conversation, yeah, yeah, we, we had a it? conversation about, about oh, this. I love the yeah. 80s. You yeah. know, you could do, you know, people have money. I mean, you know, like you say, the yeah. terraces, all of that, you know, surging Every back. Fantastic. The music was, was brilliant. Yeah. I, I love it. And I don't want to be like an old fart about it because, you know, but it seemed to be much more of a laugh. You could enjoy yourself. Yeah, you know? oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so um, Matthew Adams, Ricky Hatton was recently in Pattaya. Uh, did Jason ever bump into him? Uh, yeah, I know Ricky anyway, but he comes every year. Right. He comes every year. 
Tell us I mean, about Ricky didn't... Hatton. Did you did you watch him as a boxer? Did you like him as a boxer? I loved him. Loved him. Loved yeah. him. Never ducked anyone. Was a front footed boxer. Went 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 forward every single time. Do you know what I mean? He's one funny geezer, Ricky. You know, he's really funny. <laughs> really funny. Yeah. Well, well, see, I mean, often I see these like these top ten lists for uh, greatest boxers, uh, you know, in Britain and stuff like that over the years, and he he often features in in their top five. Do you think he was that he was that good? Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I liked him. Did Did you ever fancy going over to Vegas or or watch him like that? Did you go? He used to take so many people over there, didn't he? Yeah, but my problem was I was so into football, so yes. football come before that. Right, Simply Coy, your mate again. Uh, he says, Jay, I remember you were the first person I knew with a mobile phone, probably around 88 to 90. Does Jay remember the big old brick as big as a small suitcase? The big brick. The big brick. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it was. <laughs> Honestly. They were huge, weren't they? Oh, it was mental. It was like, it was, big. It was mental. <laughs> I mean, it was better off going to a phone box, Liam, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, then and then you're talking, it was like, I don't know what it was, 50 pence a pound a minute or something. You know what I mean? It was expensive and it weren't like... Oh, yeah, to shove all your money in the phone. Yeah, in the phone, I remember. No, I'm talking about on the thing, on the, on the mobile. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah I so you, you were quite a trendsetter then. You had the phone. Was was that when you... Could you arrange any uh, meetups with uh, on the phone like that? No, no one else had one, Liam. Phoning myself, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Oh, yes, here we go. John Nabriga, uh, Jason and your sidekick. I always like turning in to watch you both. See, so I, I am your sidekick. Although I've got one supporter here. I've got one supporter. Mark Milner said, no, no, it's Liam now. And Jason is the sidekick. But I don't think that's the case. Do you? No, I don't think that's the case. I don't mind. I'm happy to take the back seat, Liam. No, no, no. They, they tune in for you. You are the one. You are the one. Um, now, uh, I don't know. I can't pronounce this name at all. So, But he wants to know... Uh, Jason, <laughs> is that a syrup? I presume is syrup meaning. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm lucky enough. I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I'll go grey all over. No, I'm afraid it's like no syrup. No, no syrup. syrup. I mean, unless he wants me to go and get in the shower and put a bit of gel on for him or something, and suppose myself up to sit here. Do you know what I mean? But. Now I'm afraid no syrup, but plenty of grey hairs. That's what it is. Yeah. Well, would you be? Are you one of these people? Because a lot of blokes get really uptight about all of this. Would you be worried about losing all your hair if you lost it all? Right. Well, for what this is mental. We had this round. The, we made Matty kept winding Bummy Dave because Bummy Dave's here now. So Matty's winding him. I'll reach rounds have and wind up with him about his game bolt. But I think I'll be lucky. My old man was just like a silver fox, plenty of hair. So yeah. I'll be sweet. You know what so, I mean? But if it got down to whatever, it'd have to come off, Liam. Oh, I totally It'll agree. Come off. Do you know, uh, off, this, is, this is funny, folks. When, when I was presenting on TV, right, they used to they used to have this high-angle camera that used to come in. They, they used to spray my bald spot. So that's what they used to do. So I, I knew I was finished then. That was the end <laughs> of my career. Knackered. So I, I, yeah, it's all over. It's it all was over. all over from Dover. Yeah, so I went down and... Uh, you know, went down the old army barbers, got it shaved off. Fantastic. Loved it. Brilliant. You know, just you don't have to, you know, you don't care then, you know, so it's good, you know. David Cochran, he loves your Glasgow Rangers tattoo. Uh, he knows who are the most patriotic clubs in Britain. Right. So, yeah, he's, he, he's loving your tattoo. Uh, Bruce Duffett again, he says, I like your answers, Jason. You're a proper working man. <laughs> I don't know if you are a working man. How are you? <laughs> Not really. Oh, no, we know what he means, old Bruce. He means, you know, working class. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It's a, uh, another great episode. That's from Zami Adams, who's a regular watcher. Charles Wil Wilson, spot on lads, the 80s, best music, best football supporters. Uh, West Ham away, pubs were full, cheap beer, and the full Members' Cup. Great show. Yeah, 80s. Brilliant. Absolutely. Fantastic. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. And Mark Milner, the best years were the 80s, all the raves and pills, all the jungle and old school garage songs, all at Coco's in Camden, best club ever. Did you ever go to Coco's? No, but you know what? I weren't into all that rave scene, was I? It was just too, weren't a bit of me. Yeah. Weren't yeah. a bit of me. And I filmed boxing at uh, Coco's back in the day, but uh, no. So I only got a minute and a half oh, left, yeah. Jason. What have you got planned? 
plans. The only plan you can have here is not to have a plan. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Honestly, no. Sweet. What have I got? I've got a, a big delivery tomorrow, but I'll stay out of the way. Yeah. Big delivery. Yeah. Uh, for the shop. Yeah. Um, so another, way, another tough week in paradise, Jason. It's very, I mean, it's mental. The week's gone. We're now in February, Liam. It's mental, isn't it? I know. I know. It's, it's really bizarre. But we've enjoyed it, folks. Now, do send in all your questions. We do love your questions. And we do the news. If you haven't watched the first part, go over to Jason's uh, channel to watch that and do support us. And, uh, you know, we, we, we want your stuff and we are going to get some guests on. I was thinking of getting that American uh, hooligan on there, uh, Diablo. I think you'd uh, probably not get on with him, but, you know, we'll see. I think it'd be quite funny. So we'll see you soon, folks. And uh, thanks for watching.